Hi guys, it's username K and welcome back to my channel. Today I am in sunny Silverstone for a day or two days should I say with KTM UK. Day one we're going to be riding some KTM 790 Dukes around Wales and then on day two whilst we're in Wales we're going to visit Sweet Lamb off-road adventure school and we're going to give the 790 adventures a go. So, it's probably going to be a two-part series. We have this one here, which has uprated WP suspension. So it'll be nice to see if I can feel the difference as we swap between ourselves. So yes, if you're interested, I'll put day one up, which will be the road riding stuff. And then the next vlog, day two, will be on the adventures. So, if you're interested, then keep watching. Oh, this is exciting. Katie, I'm ready to race. Street mode, right, we'll change that straight away. Ride mode, sport. Ooh. Okay, hello. Make sure everything's tight. We've got the amazing, lovely lamb chop rides here. Syncing his microphones. Actually, that's a point. And then here we've got the lovely Aaron from Knox. <laughs> so go subscribe to Knox on their YouTube. Chops, he's waved me in front so he can get all my speeding offences and road violations. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Hopefully there won't be any because I'm an angel. I'm an angel. I'm a little angel. Okay, so as some of you guys may know, I've been riding the 89CR. So I'm very interested to see what the 790s like. Because we're working with a little bit less horsepower. We have. Ooh, oh, I we put a quick shifter on this. Nice! I last rode the 790 when it first came out many, many years ago. I think it was, uh, was it 2016 or 17? I'm not sure. And although I enjoyed it, at the time it was, if I do recall correctly, it was 105 brake horsepower. Now the new 790 that's had a comeback is 95 horsepower but yeah i'm excited it's very comfy yeah i'm gonna gel with this bike so we've got a bit of boring carriageway work but yeah hopefully the wind noise isn't too bad because i do just want to share some initial thoughts and i mean initial initial because i've just hopped on and straight away we're on a dual carriageway but instantly it feels a lot more a lot softer in the saddle than my past memory of the 790 or them years ago it feels less focused and i suppose that makes sense because now we have the 890r which does feel really focused so i feel like the 790 you know we've got sport mode now the throttle response is progressive it's not snatchy in the slightest which was one of my massive grumbles when the 790 first came out i really couldn't gel with its hunting nature through town i had to ride it through town in rain mode and even then it was um pretty frustrating as a ride because it was constantly surging constantly hunting constantly wanting to go whereas now oh it feels how it should have felt it feels how it should have felt i'm liking this iteration this 790 engine from cf moto it's good i'm liking this engine and how it all connects with the electronics and the throttle response and yeah it's working well together i want to say jumping on it it is easy to ride like mega easy to ride acceleration yeah it's got it it's 
spot pole. Ooh, that blipper is positively nice. How'd you find it? down the box. Lovely, lovely jubbly. Yeah, I understand why this is called the original scalpel, the scalpel. And now I get why the 890R is called the super scalpel. Because in my opinion, the levels of aggression um, of the bikes like massively differ, but the principle's still the same. We've got a super agile, light bike. Oh, it's windy. The brake pedal is is very low, so I'd hope there's some adjustability in that, which I'm sure there is. It's KTM. I think, as you can see from behind, the bike looks pretty good. Aaron looks pretty aggressive with his arms out, but no. Oh gosh, this model is worlds apart from the 790 that I originally tried when it first came out. It's so different in such a positive way, and I'm honestly not just saying that. It's so manageable through the towns. I'm in sport mode and we're not hunting, we're not surging, it's lovely, it's bloody lovely. Yeah, definitely more rider friendly. Definitely. Yeah, I feel like if I'd have ridden this bike, this, how this bike is, back when I rode it originally, if it rode like this, I feel like I would have had one of these. This would have been an awesome step up in power. A step up that was enough to, you know, give me excitement, but enough that it's, it's probably more forgiving than something a bit more powerful. Bit of a rev off with chops. Oh, look at the views, guys. The views are awesome. You guys know I'm a sucker for a green, lush landscape. Oh. Let's go. Chopsy in front. So we just had a coffee stop. It was really pleasant, really nice. We've all popped some waterproof attire on because apparently it's probably gonna rain. Um, Chopsy has swapped with Aaron. So Aaron is now on the bike with the uprated suspension. So the suspension's non-adjustable on the ones we're on. But we've got a fair bit of adjustability on the one that Aaron's on. I'll pop the exact things of adjusted, what's adjustable in text on the screen now. So I'm not exactly sure off the top of my head right now what is adjustable, so I will pop basically what that suspension means, what it gives the bike. But I do know that it costs roughly £1,600 for that whole setup that's on that bike that Aaron is on. So this should be good because we're going to a place called Fish Hill, which is apparently really flowy, really spooky, really nice. So that should be fun. What are we waiting for? What are we waiting for? What are we waiting for? Who knows? <laughs> There'll have been some reason. 
Oh, maybe. We were waiting for a good run. That would make sense because it's Fish Hill is here. Woohoo! That's what we'll have been waiting for. It'd be nice if it was super grippy on the roads because when it's a little bit damp it's not the most confidence inspiring but we move, we move oh the rain's coming, the rain's coming the rain is not for me that's why we were waiting. That makes perfect sense. The man at the front has got the brains. So yeah, I'm very much looking forward to jumping on the suspension tweaked one just to see how it compares and contrasts and all that jazz. But so far, the, the base model of this bike is a bit of a peach. It's a bit of a gem. One thing that's really awesome about the 790 Duke is I am at lights and I have one flat foot down. Albeit my other foot is on the peg, but look at that, a flat foot. So it has a seat height of 825 mil and to be quite honest, it doesn't feel as high as it is. It doesn't feel as high as it is. I feel like it could be 815 mil. If you said 825 after me sitting on it, I'd be shocked, but that's what it is. But I think it's because the seat is quite narrow, everything's quite narrow. So yeah, it definitely helps for you getting your foot down. Nutty, nutty. My visor came off! Yeah. My visor came off! Oh, no. Well, on that side. Yeah. <laughs> I it wasn't on! Uh, it's I switched it on. Bit of a wipe. Bit of a wipe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dom said that was close. It was buffeting. Yeah, so I just um, I just said to Chops it, how are you finding it? And he said he much prefers the expensive suspension. But then again, he's uh, he's got more mass than I have. The rain has come. The rain is here. Awful. I mean, the rain's freaking sideways. Oh, yeah, me and Chops might have to stop here to save our mics, save our cameras. Because this is bad. Oh, look at that. Thank you very much. Guys, we've got some epic roads coming up. We've just had some grub. I had a nice little crispy chicken salad. Yeah. Woo! And we are ready to go again. Yeah, so I'm still on the lovely grey one, but given the state of them, I'm pretty sure they all look quite grey with all the road grime and dirt. How was your lunch? What? How was your lunch? It was alright. Okay. Because I'm such a kind hearted soul, and Aaron is really enjoying the fancy pants suspension juke. I said, you know what? Have it a bit longer, Aaron. Have it a bit longer. Especially as I know we're going to be pulling up soon for photos and stuff like that. Or videography type jazz. So yeah, I'm not precious. I'm not precious. I'm actually really enjoying gelling with this 790. Honestly, I can't explain how worlds apart 
this 790 feels from the first one that came out in my opinion of course Newtown oh the roads around Newtown I didn't realize we were quite here Mwah. Bellissima. right guys we've just pulled up for a battery change because apparently these roads are banging let's go <laughs> let's go baby oh he's spitting up all the water <laughs> Oh, goodness oh yes we welcome roads like these is good. It is pretty darn good. Oh, look at this. It's quite windy. Let me tell you, we got Shotzi with the elbow down body position. What a guy. Oh, he makes me laugh. It looks slick though. I'll give him that. He looks slick. Slick boy. Let's go. Okay guys, so I'm on this one. It's got the uprated suspension. We've got fancy red little twizzly bits. We love fancy red little twizzly bits. <laughs> oh, instantly. Instantly that is stiffer. Because it feels slightly taller. It doesn't really sag when I get on it. Oh yeah, so you can instantly feel the suspension difference, instant, as you sit on it. Woohoo! Alright, alright. So it's in track mode and already instantly, yeah, miles firmer. Even for my little lightweight body. Now I wonder how this suspension is going to work on my bladder because I quite need a wee. Oh wow! Wow, oh wow! Oh. Do you know what? I'm kind of glad it's my turn on this. Wow, look at that! When we're at the nudgery bits because then I'll really be able to see how it feels. See, I've been riding the others as well in sport mode and it's only because this hooligan in front had it in track mode that I remember is a track mode so we're in track mode wow these views are gorgeous oh it's definitely more taut huge difference huge already less forgiving on these bumps <laughs> wow look at this stunning oh it glides it glides wow 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 Wow, it is amazing the difference fancy suspension can have. It's amazing. £1,600 and I feel like I've almost got on a track bike. I mean for general riding, comfy riding, you know, even stonking on on the country lanes then, the base suspension is perfectly ample for me perfectly ample you just definitely feel the difference yeah when you go over the bumps it's definitely more firm more jarring one for a better word jarring not in a bad way just you feel it, you know? You feel the bumps that you hit. You don't feel them with the OEM suspension. It's set real nice and real comfy and plush for the road. This, I get it if you 
you know, you really like your firm, sporty, fast country lane rides for maximum stability. Oh, it's much harder, much harder. Yeah, maybe, I mean, these roads are great for me feeling the difference, 100%, but I honestly feel like I probably prefer the comfort of the stock suspension on these kind of roads specifically but for the proper long flowing great visibility roads like we had before I feel like that would have been the perfect time to really enjoy the suspension and get to grips with it and understand what it's all about <laughs> because on bumpy crazy Larry roads like this it uh, wakes you up put it that way I am woken up with no signs of relenting no signs oh it flows it flips it flops oh gorgeous bloody bloody gorgeous Wigwam Wigwam holidays Wigwam Oh good lord Oh these look mint These look wicked oh, Wow Whoa Chopsy look at these humble abodes Start look at the views Oh my god! <gasps> and a little doggy! Hello little doggy! Hello! Guys, we've just arrived at our wigwams. KTM do not mess around guys. So not only have we been riding round on awesome bikes all day, the 790 Duke. I'm gonna take you along. Come and look at this setup. So this is my own personal wigwam glamping pod type situation. The views that set my soul on fire. I've got my own hot tub that's on. This is the bike that I'm going to be riding tomorrow in part two. And then, apparently, in here, look how stunning it is. <gasps> no way, all my stuff's here. No, that is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Got some coffee, some cereal, 
some KTM goodies. This is idyllic, proper cute. Wow, breathtaking. Guys, ignore my dishevelled look and I'll just open a copper bag because <laughs> it's well deserved after all the riding and stopping and filming we've done today. The weather has just decided to change, look. The rain is coming down. It's coming down. So I'm gonna hide in my little hut. We're about to go out for some food. And then tomorrow starts again, but this time riding the 790 Adventure. And the plan is to do a few hours around these roads, then do a few hours at Sweet Lamb Adventure off-road facility. So yeah, if you wanna check out myself, Lamb Chop Rides and Aaron, who's a little bit better at off-roading than me and Chopsy, keep watching for vlog too. And yeah, hopefully there'll be some fun shenanigans to come. Alright guys, take care and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!